Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, the Vice President here at QuoteWorks. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to create purchase orders in QuickBooks from the items that you have sold using QuoteWorks. The only prerequisites are that QuickBooks and QuoteWorks will need to be running on the same computer and your vendors must already exist in QuickBooks. The person creating the PO should be familiar with your items and QuickBooks setup. This is because if an item does not already exist inside of QuickBooks, we will create it. You have the ability to select income accounts, expense accounts, type of item, etc. When QuoteWorks creates an item in your QuickBooks, it is completely categorized the way your company uses QuickBooks. If you are electronically ordering items from distribution using QuoteWorks like TechData, Ingram, Micro, Cynix, or DNH, you will want to place your order first before creating the QuickBooks, QuickBooks PO. There is another video that covers this topic. So let's jump into the setup. There, there really is not much to it, especially if you are already using QuoteWorks to create estimates, sales orders, or invoices inside of QuickBooks. The only thing to really look at are custom fields if you're using them inside of QuickBooks. So all we need to do is click on the QuickBooks button here, go down to Setup, and we're logging into QuickBooks there, and then go under Mappings and Custom Fields. From here, we just need to map our PO header custom fields if you're using them. So in this case, um, I've got two custom fields inside, inside of QuickBooks, uh, an ID and special custom field. If I want to map them, I can, um, as well as on the item side. We have color mapped to custom text 01, item type to item type, and last document is custom text 02. And that's it. So you'll see that I have an order open in QuoteWorks that needs a PO to be created. And you'll notice that I have two different vendors on the quote. So we've got Synex and Tech Data here. So I'm just going to click on the purchasing button and say yes. All right. So I can easily create two POs in QuickBooks for these vendors on the order, or I can also see other items for a particular vendor with items that also need to be ordered and combine them. Using the purchasing window, I have the ability to see all items that I have ordered need to be ordered, change date ranges, select customers, and more. So let's go ahead and switch to multiple documents instead of the document that I was working with. Select a vendor. In this case, we'll go down to uh, Tech Data. We see all of our non-purchased items. And let's go ahead and just do it for this month. So as you can see, I just have those four items there. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just check the buttons, uh, the checkboxes there, and create PO in QuickBooks. So if an item does not already exist in QuickBooks, we'll create it for you. And there are some defaults in the setup. Um, if we wanted to map those, we could. Um, we're just going to go ahead and click on OK. And again, another item, another item. And maybe this one, we'll switch to a different account. And you'll see that this customer doesn't already exist. So we'll go ahead and create it. And QuickBooks PO number five was created. So it's that simple. So let's just take a look at that PO that we created inside of QuickBooks. So go back over here, scroll down, and there's PO number five. Now, you may have noticed that I selected items from different orders, some of which are for different customers. When we put all of these items for different customers on the same PO, the PO items that we create will contain the specific customers or job that each PO item was for, as you can see here. That way you'll know who to bill. And if a customer doesn't exist in QuickBooks, like you saw, we'll create it for you using the customer information from the order. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the QuoteWorks integration to QuickBooks.